Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your man Aaron Durrell and I am here with a very quick video about auditioning. Auditioning 101. So that's what I'm gonna call it, okay? So for those in my cities, particularly Omaha, Nebraska, y'all, we have got to get prepared for the things that are coming. There are auditionings happening very soon. Um, whether it's for um, a theater production, whether it's for a dance production, an artist might look for might be looking for dancers. You have to make sure that you are ready. And I want to give you some quick tips on how to do that. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is your approach. You have to have a goal in mind when you're going to an audition. You can't just and the goal can't just be oh I just want to get the job. No. What are you trying to learn? Are you trying to network? Are you? Um, trying to just get more experience for a lot of people here we think we can just do what everyone else is doing outside but we have no practice no training or no preparation to get us ready for those moments so my advice to you is to have a goal in mind to either get the gig to network um to get experience auditioning and being in that process and what it's like because auditioning is not for the week okay so next thing is minimize the heaviness an audition is literally a free class with a possible opportunity to perform. It's a free class. So treat it as such. Don't let the weight of, oh my God, all these other people look better than me. No, you are the best thing in that room. You have to tell yourself that. Um, so please make sure that you are looking inside of you, that you are owning what you have, and just be in the room and have a good time and share what you've got going on. Which goes to the next part. Um, sorry, I'm looking at my notes. Um, this is opportunity an audition is an opportunity to share not to prove you're sharing who you are you're sharing what you can do you're sharing what you got you learn what they want you to learn and then you just put it out there okay so that's your approach okay have a goal in mind minimize the heaviness by thinking it as just a free class and then show up to share just share okay next thing is your preparation training Take classes. Classes are starting to happen now. Wherever your teachers are, if you know what I'm saying, like whatever you want to grow, grow and move forward in, whether it's hip hop, ballet, jazz, um, majorette, modern, whatever you want to do, take class with those who are already doing it. And if not, find them online. There are too many resources for dancers to not be up to par on what's happening especially for auditions that you really want that could be paid opportunities so make sure you're doing your best training um yes and you practice at home as well record yourself and see what you can do and then improve from there physically groom y'all if you're trying to create a look cut men cut your hair or don't cut your hair Make sure it looks presentable. Make sure you, you want to prepare for the job that you want. So if you want to be on stage with Lady Gaga, you're going to be twisting and turning some things. If you want to walk around like Drake, you're going to have to make sure you have that look. Same with Chris Brown, my ladies. You want to look like Megan Thee Stallion? You may not be able to get a BBL, but you got to make sure you look fly. You got to look like a pretty girl. You can't just be out here showing up looking oogly doogly and raggedy and then expect them to not, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, you got to literally dress for the job that you want. That applies in auditions too. Um, yeah, and, and more than important, create a look that best represents you as you are. So then when you walk in a room, you're going to stand out. Don't be someone brand new best reflect you what if you're like aaron i'm a hoodie and sweats person then make sure it's a fly as hoodie and a fly sweats all right <laughs> that's all i'm going to say make sure you create a look make sure it's, it pops out in some type of way um because it adds to the whole package people do look at the outside as well as the inside as well as the quality and the content so it's all a part of the package emotionally you have to be confident short story i spent years in New York and Atlanta, doubting myself and my ability because all these kids were dancing circles around me, literally kids. I was in my late 20s and literally these 15 to 16 year olds are dancing circles around me, booking jobs and all of this stuff. And I felt like I was less than because I wasn't on their level. And that I was at the same space as them. I was in class with them, learning routines with them. But because I was looking at them instead of looking at myself, I didn't even get to see myself as a star or as a, a person who was, you know, able to be there. 
and I would always blow the select groups, not all the time, but most times I would blow because I was trying to do too much, trying to prove. Again, never prove anything, just share who you are. So with that being said, be confident in what you have. If all you have is hip hop, be confident in hip hop. If all you got is ballet, be the best ballet dancer ever, all right? Make sure you are doing that. Um, to the best of your ability and your best changes every day. So if you don't have 150% energy, go in there with that 80 and let it be the best 80 possible. All right. Again, our audition is a way for them to see who you are. And you only can do that by presenting what you have. So present yourself well. Okay. Um, and then lastly, the materials, headshots, resumes, Google, Google a dance resume. Google dance headshots. Most headshots for dancers, they'll ask for a face shot. <laughs> or they'll ask for a body shot, a full body shot of you doing your thing. Look look those up. And if you can't afford somebody to do a, you know, a, a professional shot, iPhones are just as good. Smartphones are just as good. Get the right lighting. Always be in your light. Don't turn this way and like, no, like look towards your light and take your pictures. All right. Um, and wear something that makes you look dope. No matter what, again, what it's for. My, uh, musical theater, Broadway, jazz, modern, hip hop, whatever it is, West African, Irish folk dance. Look the part. Again, dress and prepare yourself for the job that you want. And study the artist or study the opportunity, the group that you are linking up for, that you're auditioning for. Don't just go in there blindly. Know what they're asking for. Know what they want, how they move, because then that's going to see, okay, is this a good fit for me or not? Um, and then finally, your execution, y'all. Show up early to the, uh, uh, the audition. So not only you can stretch um, and prepare your body, but you can scope out, okay? All right, cool. Just don't get swayed by what you see. St again, stretch your body, drink your water, um, make sure you have everything that you need, bandages, um, your, uh, um, what you call it? The, uh, I was about to say therabands. Yeah, your therabands to stretch your feet for those, um, knee pads, whatever you need. Bring all of it in your little, nice little dance bag, okay? Um, be present and be easy on yourself. Don't be on your phone trying to, you know, oh, this is where I'm at today. Like, no, like get yourself, practice your mindfulness, pray, meditate, prepare yourself for this journey of learning and sharing what you have. Don't just be there and not be present. Being present is so important. Um, and finally, have fun. Have a good time. I can't tell you, I haven't been to a lot of auditions but one in particular, I got the 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 role, or I got the uh, I got I made it into the company because I was having fun, and I was shocked. <laughs> uh, I was very shocked. It was for Spelman Dance Theater, um, my senior year. I hadn't been technically trained that long, and I was so nervous. I'm like, I don't know about a, a ballet or modern. Like, what am I doing? My teacher was just like, or my professor was like, Aaron, just come. And after a while, I just kept going. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to throw myself out here. I'm going to have a good time. And I did. And when they called my number, I was shocked. But it was, I knew it was because I was just my genuine self. I was smiling and I learned so much from that. So have fun. Don't take it so seriously. All right. Um, yes, is a potentially paid opportunity. But guess what? You're most likely going to have to audition again for someone else for another paid opportunity. So don't get so comfortable or don't get so hard on yourself like, oh my God, this is, this, this is it. If it's a big deal for a big artist like Missy Elliott or, you know, Janet Jackson or, you know, um, America's uh, Midwest Ballet or Ballet America Theater, whoever, you know what I'm saying? Whoever it's for, Ailey Complexions, like just have a good time and show them your spirit. Show them your hard work. Show them who you are. Share that with them. And if they want you, they'll take you. And if they don't want you, it doesn't make you less of a person. It doesn't make you less of an artist. You're just not what they're looking for. And that's okay. Get back on your horse. You continue training and you, the next audition will come. All right. So those are my tips for auditioning. Y'all, please come out to these auditions 
And if you have any questions, leave some questions down below. I will reach out to you. And yeah, thank you for your time. Love, Aaron Durrell.